was supposed to do a trail cleanup this weekend and I planned it and realized I didn't really think of where I could go because all the places I remember seeing trash in the past were either out of state or I couldn't remember where they were. So I decided to come to Little Water Preserve at Emory and Han Woods, I think it's called. But the loop around the lake, Candler Lake, is pretty clean. It looks like it's well maintained. Except I'm standing right beside a trash can. And somehow there's still pieces of trash on the ground. The trash can is right here. Ew. Well, my first cleanup is not really going as planned. I have walked almost three miles now and the entire loop around the lake is pretty clean. I picked up a thing or two that I videotaped and the place that I was planning to go to is completely grown over. I couldn't get through on the trail. Um, so I couldn't even get to the place. Actually, I'm gonna try to cross over the road and see if there's another entrance to it because I couldn't even get to it from the other access that I went through the last time. And so there's not a lot of trash. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but I found a little bit on this little sandbar on the way back. So we're gonna take care of that at least. Got a little bit more off camera. Gonna add that to the bag now. This right here is just sheer disgustingness. If you are smart enough to bring tissues and wipes on the trail, then you are smart enough to bring a grocery bag to put them in. This is literally five feet from the trail. And I hope it's somebody that got injured, not somebody's fucking period. But either way, it's disgusting. I'm gonna vomit. <gasps> I really hope that one day my video goes viral enough so that the person who left the bloody fucking mess right next to the trail sees it and learns some responsibility. Bring a plastic bag and wipes and toilet paper. If you're afraid there's not gonna be a bathroom, then you should always carry a plastic grocery bag or something to throw your waist in and bury your poop at the very least at the very least you shouldn't even bury your poop but that's a story for another day step at a time if you can't even have the decency to bury your bloody fucking wipes then obviously you're not smart enough to understand that you also need to carry out your poop but that's okay we all started somewhere I ain't judging I just don't want to clean up your shit, okay? Okay. So, lesson number one, when you go for any hike anywhere, unless you know that there's porter potties, in fact, it doesn't even matter if you know there's a bathroom, because you never know when you gotta go. So, always be prepared, bring toilet paper, and bring a grocery bag. Don't make someone else pick up after you. That's so disgusting. And if I didn't have those plastic bags with me, I probably would have left it because I don't know if the gloves that I brought can protect me from that kind of germ. Half of the trash that I'm seeing is out in the water where I can't grab it. Mm -hmm. 
this was not well thought out. The island that I found to clean is far away from all the trash cans. And all the cans that I just picked up are full of sand. I don't feel like I picked up that much trash. It's less than a one bagger, but it's heavy as fuck. Sorry, I'm cussing again. Well, I'm not gonna sound very convincing. Like, get out and clean up your trails, guys. Come on. Yeah, I thought I would set a great example today. And maybe I am setting a great example, but inside I'm beating myself up. Well, just honestly beating myself up because I'm embarrassed about how long it took me to actually get out here and how I woke up and didn't want to do something I said I was going to do. And then I went and did it anyways because I was afraid that I would let people down or they would start judging me for being a fraud and saying all this stuff, getting people excited that someone's going to clean something up and then change their mind. So I decided to come out somewhere anyways. But I ended up finding half a bag of trash and I'm sweating balls and it I don't feel like I did anything very impressive at all. And now you see how much I judge myself and that all of the stuff that I'm doing nobody has said to me and all the stuff that I am doing is only in my head and I actually if I was talking to somebody else who did what I did today I'd be like that's so awesome you're amazing you have such a good heart but for some reason I look at myself I'm like that's not big enough that's not good enough you aren't gonna get anywhere with that shit I don't really want to share this with you guys because this is the stuff that goes through my head I don't even notice that it's happening sometimes, to be quite honest. I just wake up in a bad mood and I can't figure out why. And until I dig deep and figure it out, it's because I don't feel good enough for something. I beat myself up a lot. And if I share this, people are going to bombard me. Why? It doesn't help. I need to work on this myself. I'm not doing this for pity. I want to do this because I want other people to understand that my Facebook life anyway or other people's Facebook lives that look so perfect. They're not all the time. We don't get to do exactly what we want. The ideas in our head don't always turn out like we want them to. And then we just don't share it. And that's okay. Maybe we just don't want to share anything negative. So I only ended up with a half a bag of trash which doesn't feel as accomplished as I wanted to, but I learned some lessons, made a small difference. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. Someone's gonna see me. Be like, what the fuck is that girl doing with a gigantic, heavy ass trash bag? Oh, I'm just, you know, coming. Coming to bring some snacks for everybody. Coming to leave some trash on the trailer.